Aloha, lava Nissan Bolivanaka, my lord, thou lava, my lovely, lovely, lovely to have you company. Seven minutes past eight, and today we welcome to the show Amanaki Falito, lead star of the new Inky Pinky Ponky series, which premieres this Friday on the 23rd on Māori TV. As we say, we welcome to the show Kia orana and my lovely, Amanaki, how are you? I'm good, my lovely, thank you for having me. Well, first of all, before we get into asking all the hard questions and whatnot, no, sorry, I'm just joking <laughs> about the hard questions, but uh, let's warm up. Tell us uh, your ethnic background. Where are you from? I'm a uh, full Tongan, born, raised here in Auckland. Um, I'm the first out of uh, I'm the first out of all 13 kids to be born in New Zealand. Um, my my dad's from uh, Vava'u and my mum's from Sopo. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never been to Tonga, which is a shame, but I'm planning on going sometime this year with my dad. Well, that makes us both, uh, we haven't been <laughs> both to the islands, but that's a goal that we go, go to the roots. Head out. Oh, lovely. It sounds wonderful. Well, that now that will kind of warm things up a bit. And uh, how are your emotions uh, right now uh, leading up to, you know, coming up uh, the premiere of your show? Um... I, I guess a little bit nervous, excited, um, mixed. A mixed feeling? Yeah, mixed feeling. Why is that? Why, why is such a mixed feeling? You should be, like, you should be proud. This um, is a big platform. I mean, yeah, it is. It's massive, and I'm I'm super grateful. Um, I think it's because um, not only am I like acting in it, I co-wrote it, and I'm the executive producer wow. of it. So it's like my my heart and soul went into this, and so it's a little. It's like burying, giving out a piece of yourself and having it, it open to the world to kind of, I guess, judge and, and have a spit on. Well, speaking about opening to the world, tell us about this amazing TV premiere happening this Friday, Inky Pinky Ponky. What's the series? Why should the whole Pacific community be watching? Um, it's about a love story. Um, and in high school, a young um Pacifica queer Fagaliti mm-hmm. falling in love with the first 15 captain um, and trying to navigate her life through high school. I guess in high school, everyone's, you know, trying to figure out who they are. And so um, it's the first Tongan Fagaliti uh, series. Um, yes. And so I think it's, um, I mean, it represents a whole heap of things. It represents our culture, our people, our values, religion, and just a lot of, um, I guess, Issues that a lot of young teens are facing even still today. Amazing, amazing. Now, the show was originally stage play that you wrote for Lecky Jacksonburg based on your own true story. What has it been like taking the show from the stage to the screen? Um, I mean, I wrote the, the, original, the original script I wrote about, oh my gosh... 2011 and that was a solo stage play which was done by just me and then me and Lecky uh, my co-writer came together a couple years later and decided to extend it into a bigger play which eventually a lot of schools got really interested and ended up doing it for their school productions MIT did it for the grad show Um, Auckland Theatre Company put it up and then it ended up being published into a book Um, and now it's a it's a it's a series I guess it's a story that everyone's still trying to wrap their I guess, no, actually, it's a story that's been around for ages, but it's only now been exposed to, I guess, like, main platforms. And so everyone's just like, ha-ha, I know a similar story. I guess it was just waiting for someone to finally tell it. So here it is. So it's been in amongst, so it's been more like being kept away. Yep. And now it's finally... <laughs> now it's out. Finally, the key has been unlocked the padlock. Mm-hmm. Why, why Why do you think is that? that why it's kind of... Was it because of the, what do you call it, that this, you know, people have different opinions towards it or the negative side, of you reckon? Why? Well, yeah, I think, um, I mean, it's drawn a lot of attention, good and bad, but I guess I, any attention is, is, is great, I guess. <laughs> yes, Thanks. Yes. Um, and so um, I think it's because we're in a day and age where I feel like a lot of our brown queer people are a little bit more visible. And we're right. out there, like we're everywhere, and so I think when people see like the trailers on TikTok or Instagram, everyone's like, um, I guess they relate to it a little bit. And also, I feel like it's Tongan, and 
I mean, anything Tongan that goes up on big platforms, we come in numbers and Tongans come in support. Yes, because that is slowly coming through that yep. almost everywhere. <laughs> like how they used to, like how men was dominating the, the workforce. Uh-huh. Now that woman can, now this, yes. uh, whakalete, whakawhine, mm-hmm. now in the open. So, which is great. Now, starting from plays, writing stories, now being on TV, being presenters. Uh, it's amazing. You mean, as we mentioned about school, what were some of the responses you had from Pacifica school students when you toured and played through the schools? Um, when the sc- I guess when I went through schools to watch, I guess, them put up their vision, um, a lot of teachers tell me, like, they pitch Pacific plays to these drama students and then ask them to select what play they want to do. Mm. And m- my play ended up being... I mean, a lot of the kids chose my play out of any other brown play, which is, I mean, it's cool... Um, I guess it's they're really connected to it because it's based in high school. The language is based around how they speak, right. and I think they, it's just they're really interested in in seeing a young Fakaleti play the lead role. And I think it's bomb. And I think younger kids, the new gen, the woke gen, shall I say, are a little bit more inclined than I feel like some of us older ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Do you think it also they try to stop the stigma of it as no, well? No, definitely. Um, I think. Um, I don't. I mean, I feel like a lot of our young queens who are in school right now have it. No, they do have it a lot more easier than when I did back in high school. Back in the days, yeah. yes, there was always criticism. Mm-hmm. There was always being left out. Oh, you're different. Or yep. be excluded from. Uh, yeah, because you've brought up the memories. Yeah. And sitting on the side and trying to help those uh, amongst uh, with that, not be a part of it, but try to help because. When you look at it, it could happen closely to me, right. my own family. So uh, that's uh, it's amazing. Now, do you think that there are enough creative opportunities for our Pacifica youth wanting to follow in your performance footsteps? Um, I don't think there is enough pathways to help lead them into these opportunities. Um, I, I'm a graduate of the Pacific Institute of Performing Arts, BIPA, and our school closed a couple of years ago. Right. And then... Uh, I don't. I th- I'm sure MIT Performing Arts School closed down as well, and I don't know if there's enough drama schools out there that have a Pacific led curriculum that helps them be able to nurture their own stories and be able to tell their own stories. I don't think there's enough schools out there like like MIT or people. I mean, sorry, you have Unitech and Drama School in Wellington, Toifakare, but that's basically really it. That's it. Eh? Yeah. Just is not enough. Not enough. Oh, it's good. It's good to know. So, for many leaders out there who sat there and uh, sort of had the idea but not yeah. wanting, so maybe more, more come out and maybe join in the Fakaro. Maybe we have more out there. Hopefully, hopefully well, in the future. Well, just before we wrap things up, now Fafa Fini Fakalei hold a prominent place in our Kainga family, Ainga, our communities. What is the response? Uh, like among our own peers, this must feel like a victory or a lot of people, uh, I fear the Pacific queer community? I mean, a lot of them have hit me up on social media and said how much they love it and excited to see it. I mean, this story isn't just mine. I mean, there's events in this story that are inspired by true life events. But, I mean, a lot of the queens um, do relate to the story and they're fully excited and I'm happy that they're all fired up to see it. And it, it I mean, it makes me feel mafana, I guess, and it, it, it encourages me to go out and talk more about these stories. So I'm happy I'm able to represent them in a good light. Hey, it's lovely to have you on board and uh, to encourage many others, our rangatahi, our tupulanga, our roikura out there, and to our viewers and, and listeners this morning, your final words of encouragement. And also tell us, uh, the time and the social media platforms that, that many others can go uh, t- in terms of uh, who want to be a superstar in <laughs> well, your future plays yet to come. <laughs> um, yeah, Inky Piki Ponky, the series premieres on Friday on Maori Television. Uh, next month it, pre- uh, it comes out worldwide on Coconut TV. Um, uh, you can, uh, there's Instagram pages I think uh, the Maori TV Instagram page they'll have a link there for you to um, download the app so you can watch the series and Coconut's all over you can find them online um, everywhere 
Um, do I have anything coming up? I have a Fini Festival coming up in November. Um, some of you might know about it. It's the only brown queer festival that we've ever had. It's our third year running. Keep an eye out for that if you want to be involved. We'll have a platform where you have something to say. Holler at me. Oh, nice. Um, so, yeah, how, how can people get, get a hold of you? If oh, your... um, well, I work for Fini Pacifica Aotearoa. We have a, a, a website um, and an Instagram page. Feel free to follow us there or hit me up. I'm Anaki Faleta on Instagram and I'll be sure to respond when I'm free, when I can. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could see that it's full, full of book. book uh, I can see the phone lines. It's, oh, like, wow, they're very little. Um, final words to encourage and to wrap up our show this morning. What would you say? Um, just be kind to everyone and just a reminder that. Um, that love is a feeling and, a, and an emotion it's not a rule so allow yourself to love freely and, and be happy oh we'd just like to say thank you so much for joining us and your time this morning it's a pleasure having you we are looking forward to more future projects and uh, to have us uh, you know come back in again and, and tell us more uh, one day uh, looks like I have to uh, try to beat many others uh, I see some of our colleagues are already a part of your show <laughs> so it uh, looks like uh, yeah if you are looking for a cleaner or whatever you know making a <laughs> cup of tea uh, you know I'm, I'm really good at those things uh, but hey I'm like it's such a pleasure having you this Thank morning you. so